Welcome to another part of the Shop Cat video compilation in Hong Kong, along with some of the street cats that I sometimes come across. Everyone, enjoy! Hey, it's Melicat. If you're into animals, budget travel, or even exploration, come into my channel. See, the funny thing is, um, the meat tube, this guy, I think he's overfed. He's one of the beloved cats that lives in one of the shops. And um, yeah, I think our neighbors actually give him a bit too much junk food. So he's not crazy about it. But still, he cannot resist. I think, I think this is the squid flavor. Yeah. Now, I don't know um, in the countries where you guys are from if you guys have sh uh, shop cats, but it's actually very common in Hong Kong. Um, some people believe that they can actually catch mice, which is not true. Um, but I do think that having the cat pheromones in your shop is a rodent deterrent. This guy is actually pretty clean. Yeah, I pet him like a number of times and his fur is actually very, very clean. So that's one of my neighborhood cats. Actually, I don't even know what his name is. I just know he's one of the cats that's living in jobs. That's in the neighborhood. And just so you know, everywhere I go, I would have some meat tubes on me. Just, you know. So I can bribe the cats a little. And even that, you know, if uh, sometimes I come across cats that I need to save or rescue, um, having these meat tubes actually really help in terms of luring them. Um, because sometimes uh, you just don't know how to get them to stay where they are. And, um, you know, holding them forcefully is not an option unless you want to get seriously attacked. Oh, and you see that this guy's, uh, one of his ears got clipped. It means he has gone through the TNR, the Trap, Neuter, and Release program here in Hong Kong. I think that's sponsored by the SPCA. It's to control the feline population. This guy's having a bit of a food coma after the feeding. It's just so chill. And you can always tell how safe the neighborhood is for the cats just by judging uh, how scared they are of us, how skittish they are. Obviously, uh, this guy, nope, not skittish at all. Hi, hi. <laughs> I used to live in this neighborhood in Hong Kong and this uh, shop sells pickled plums and little uh, knickknacks and sweets. This guy's actually 20 years old. A shop cat that's 20 years old. Um, the shop is a bit commercial. He's like, hey, what do you want? I'm like, I want to pet the cat. He's like, so what do you want? I'm like, I want to pet the cat. Can I pet the cat before I make a purchase? And this guy has been trained to not run out of the shop. I don't know how to do that. This one. I was like, no, don't lay down on the floor. And then the next thing you realize is, Now, this shop, I've actually seen one of the cats before, not realizing that there's actually more than one. It's the first time that I saw this shop cat here, and yeah, he's just really friendly. I think that's the characteristic of uh, many of these shop cats, is that they are not only not afraid of humans, but they don't have reason to be scared of you. Oh, this is the other sibling. Yeah. If they do a lot of hit buttons, they just go right for the phone. So sometimes when you pet them, you have to be careful that they don't hit 
use hard enough that your phone gets knocked out of your hand. I don't know what's in my bag, but this guy's really interested. <laughs> oh, oh, kitty punch. See, it turned out they actually have more cats in the shop. I did not know that. I think they're newly adopted. Ah, you were on one of my previous compilations. Ha. Support my channel. If you like my content and want to keep my channel alive, all the information's in the description. Thanks, guys. Mama. See, with these cats living in the shops, I noticed I may not be a cat whisperer, but they eventually pick up, I guess, the cat sense that's on my. Uh, body and um, eventually they just kind of give in. I don't know if it's curiosity or maybe to them I'm just like a giant cat cocktail, you know? Oh, there you go. Sometimes it makes me a bit worried seeing that they're not uh, on a leash and they don't even have a collar. But the thing is, they somehow just find their way. It's amazing. I guess the ones that never learned uh, not to run up to the road, never made it this old and never made it this far. Um, natural selection in a way, I guess. Um, you know, some people was like, steal the cat. I'm like, I can't. It's somebody's shop cat. Um, that's just something that I have to live with. I guess everyone finds their way. Look at he just destroys the stuff in that shop. Oh, found ya! Uh, it's good to see that at least the leash is quite long. Ah, oh, someone is dreaming. Oh, hello. Wow, these ones are the ones that will risk getting stolen. A shop cat that is a pedigree cat? Ah. Oh, hello. I'll buy whatever you sell. Okay, another shop that has uh, pedigree cats. These are British short hairs, right? That's why they close the door. Smart. Oh, what a condescending cat face. This cat, uh, before I thought that their gait was set rather low and they kind of learned that the cat will actually run outside. So they either put this guy on a leash or a long leash or they close the door. <sighs> Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> this shop cat is like, hey, don't bother me. I'm watching the human work. He's up there somewhere. I saw this in the shopping mall. I don't know if you feel the same. I don't know what he's selling or what she is selling right now, but I just feel like buying it. Even looking at the packages, it's like strawberry and milk. What is it? It's in Korean. Oh my god, these are so cringeworthy. These cats are like two or three months old and they're just on the sidewalk like this on the leash. Note the one on the right, the leash is really thin. And I was like, okay, that's not right. And I just happened to be at the right place at the right time so the owner doesn't pay a lot of attention to them. They have two other cats in the shop. And according to him, he said he just wanted them to chill out a little bit. But what, upon further inspection, it's not a collar that's on them. It's just a very, very thin string that had no flexibility. They can just get out of it anytime. 
And guess what? Huh, this guy chewed through his, his line. See it? See how it's dangling? I really was just at the right place uh, at the right time to see that because he could easily chase his toy that the owner left for him and he can end up on the road and he wouldn't even know what hit him. Oh my Look. God. He just chewed off her leash. Shit. not even on official leash they could chew through that easily easily something that thin jeez what were they thinking oh my god Are you kiddos Are you kiddos Are you kiddos oh my god i gotta do something about it where is the owner i think the neighbor said the owner is somewhere in the distance on the phone Okay, this is one of their shop cats that's well trained. So, so I got a leash for both of these cats and a collar, so at least that's good. That's the least I can do. Oh, another one. Hi! That's the cat that they have that can go out. Alright, this is a senior citizen that I saw in the distance. This guy. It's also a shop cat, 20 years old. You can tell. It's an older cat, but he's been around the blocks. <laughs> Maybe it's because he lives in a Chinese medicine shop. The owner knows the key to longevity and passed it on to the cat. See, life always finds a way. 20 years old is a shop cat. And for the last one, this is one that Holly sent to me, my best friend. She saw him or her in one of the nearby shops. Aww. Actually, if any of you guys have any cat compilation elements that you want to submit, hey, uh, let me know on my Discord, send me an email. I love to make a compilation out of the cat videos that you guys submit. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Stay safe. Meow.